Hey everybody, I'm Rai. Uh, this is kind of a companion piece to the last Undertale playthrough I did, <laughs> because if you saw it, ooh, let me see, I want to say a little over halfway through, I started to get a little bit agitated. And to make this a little bit more whimsical, I'll probably throw some sort of uh, cute little video game playthrough that... I'm doing just for shits and giggles my own amusement, because I do that too, Under uh, underneath this uh, this talky talk. But I figured, kind of wanted to explain myself. Not to apologize, because that was very real. I, I'm quite pissed off at Undertale. But that doesn't mean I'm not enjoying my time playing it, if that makes any sense. And I'll explain why. You see, like, contrary to like how I am when I play They Bleed Pixels, there are times when I screw up in that game a lot. I'll, like, botch jumps. I'll have bad timing, just plain bad luck, or the game just beats me. The game will just kick me off a ledge, punch me with its stretchy arms, knock me into a buzzsaw, and pale me on a spike. You've, you've, seen, you've seen how many times I've died in that game. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That doesn't mean I'm not enjoying myself. I love that game for everything that it is, even, even when I fail. As I've said before, Undertale's a very different kind of game, though, to me. It's different in the sense that, well, not only in terms of the kind of game it is, but in how I react to it and why I keep doing the Let's Play of it, because it would be very easy to kind of look at that and go, well, if it's making him so mad, why is he playing it? He should stop. But I'm enjoying the story. There's elements of, like, say, combat and gameplay that bother me, and I'll freely admit, I am not the greatest when it comes to puzzles. They take me a little bit longer, sometimes, especially with this kind of game. I find, and maybe it's because the puzzles are easier in these sorts of games, I've got a lot more, hmm, patience? Or, or, or it clicks better in my head with games like, say, uh, Legend of Zelda. Or uh, something even simpler than that. Uh, like, like the Resident Evil games. I like those ones. Uh, not so much the old, or sorry, not so much the newer games, more more the older ones. I like those puzzles where it's like, find this, combine this, stick it into this hole, turn the knob, what's behind that? Oh, you gotta have a lever, something to weight this down or the room's gonna crush you, that kind of thing. Um, but Undertale, Und Undertale's kind of different. I flip-flop quite a bit, and in the last episode, I committed to doing a genocide run, and I'm going to. I'm going to. That game, whoa, that friggin' Washu bot really grinded my gears the right way. Or the wrong way, depending on how you want to look at it. But I'm going to come back there, and every single monster in that game will pay the iron price. But that doesn't mean I'm not enjoying my time. I still very much enjoy the characters, and I very much enjoy the story, and the environment, and the world. But I think it's... Uh, <laughs> I think it's very much kind of like life, you know? There's a lot of things in your day-to-day -day that just make you want to pull your hair out. It doesn't mean you don't enjoy life doesn't mean you hate the experience of existence. And in a similar way, it doesn't mean I'm not enjoying my time playing Undertale. It's getting an emotion out of me. But if nothing else, I think it's a very refreshing kind of let's play, especially for Undertale, because, I mean, I've, I have purposely not watched any other let's plays of this game, and I know there are plenty out there. Mine is certainly nothing... It's not unique in the sense that I've decided to play this game because it's it's been played by so many other people. And there's a fondness for this game, and I get it. I mean, I've seen the artwork. I've seen the fan art. I don't understand all of it, but as I play the game, I'm starting to gain an appreciation for it because now I understand, oh, that's why they drew these two characters together. That's why they depicted this scene. That's why they drew this character the way they did. Like, I'm starting... It's like art. No, it really is. It's like art appreciation, and it's kind of cool that way. Because now I'm starting to see like um, fan art of the game before in a brand new light. So it's like I'm getting to experience it twice and from two different perspectives, and I think that's really cool. But a lot of people, I would say, I, the vast majority, it's just unabashed love for the game, and I totally see why, and I enjoy it. But I think. If nothing else, the playthrough offers something new because I'm not somebody who's going through it warm and cuddly and cozy and loving the ride the entire way through and enjoying all the characters and getting overly emotional with some of their tragic backstories. Looking back on some of this 
I'm, I'm taking a very different approach to it. Even talking with friends who have played the game and their experiences with parts that I'm at or have yet to come to. And thankfully, they've been they've been very quiet. They haven't spoiled anything for me. I appreciate that very much. But theirs has been a much more like... Like they're walking through a botanical garden and appreciating all the beautiful flowers that they see. Even the ones that have some thorns, some prickly spots, a Venus fly trap or two. Maybe they have an overly pungent smell that isn't great, but they still look beautiful. They're appreciating them all for what they are. Me, on the other hand, I'm going through and going like, no, that's a weed. Cut that one out. Why is that there? That's a cactus. Who would want to touch that? Burn that. Cut that out. Pour some pesticide on this one. Like... I hope I'm getting the right metaphor across. I'm going through it, and I seem very aggressive and antagonistic towards the game. I'm enjoying the experience, though. Loving it. It's interesting to me to have been presented with a game that so many people love and having such an adverse, or is that the right word to, to use? Uh, an opposite reaction to the non-stop blissful joy that so many other people have had to it and mine's more just like oh my god why didn't i go through this just taking you guys out with the tough glove i don't know why why did i shackle myself with being a nice person and interestingly enough now my motivation is is also is I do want to see where the story goes and how this ends and what the character's motivations and hopes and dreams are. Um, how I'm going to escape the mountain, if I can escape the mountain. And, you know, what what Flowey's up to, what, what Papyrus is up to, what Undine's up to, what all the characters are doing, how all their little lives and stories crisscross and intersect and culminate in the finale. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty damn awesome. And I can't wait to see what it's going to be like also afterwards because... The larger half of my motivation now is to finish this game so that I can see the stark contrast between being a goody-goody and then coming through that world like a hurricane made of knives and anger and seeing how the characters react to me and seeing if some like, like me more, like me less, if maybe some won't talk to me, maybe certain areas of the game are going to be less populated after I get through them. I don't know. But I'm very, very curious to see how it all plays out. All this to say that despite how ranty and ragey and angry I can get going through the playthrough, that's all very real. That is exactly how I'm feeling when I'm playing the game at points. But I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Just a little bit I wanted to share to let you know that <laughs> I'm not putting myself through torture here. It is a fun experience. Anyway, we'll continue on with the peaceful, I won't lay a finger on them playthrough of Underworld in the weeks to come. Underworld? I keep calling it Underworld. Undertale. I gotta get that right. Continue with the peaceful playthrough of Undertale in the weeks to come. Hope you enjoy it. And as always, I'll see you next time. My name's Rye. You take care of yourselves.